Hello, my dear doctor. I'd like to talk on today a very important case that is found in my outpatient department. Sometimes the case uh, spot diagnosis. You look at the patient and see and make your diagnosis. So making diagnosis at the spot, sometimes you need to have some of the important clues to reach your diagnosis, my dear. Can you look at this? young man and these young men having the spot diagnosis or myotonic dystrophy myotonic dystrophy is important cases for exam my dear in the different postgraduate exams like the MRCV PACES exam in different postgraduate exams in your local countries exams and also different postgraduate exams also and also in your clinical practice my dear if you know them very well beforehand, handling such a patients and making a diagnosis is really important. So my dear, listen very carefully, having the patients starting with a very sleepy face. What I'm saying, have a sleepy face means bilateral ptosis, having some of the frontotemporal, frontotemporal balding, and you see a long haggard face. So it's a spot diagnosis, sleepy, sleepy face, the single talk, the sleepy face, the diagnosis of myotonic dystrophy or the myasthenic gravis. But having such a long haggard face, the frontotemporal balding, yes, the first diagnosis should be the myotonic dystrophy. So having such a sleepy face, having long haggard face, once again, diagnosis, myotonic dystrophy rather than myasthenic gravis. You will have in chances to look another video clips for the myasthenic gravis so that you can make your diagnosis. So my dear, listen very carefully, dear doctors. So let me start by showing you, see that I'm examining the patients with the grief myotonia here, having some of the myotonic dystrophic phase, altogether diagnosed myotonic dystrophy. But I like to talk and make it very simpler and very easy so that you people can remember all them together. So my dear, listen very carefully. The myotonic dystrophy, I'm saying the rules of rule of D is that we need to prove. So my dear, what I'm saying sometimes, the myotonic dystrophy or the word, the dystrophia myotonica, or we call the DM. So D for dystrophia, M for myotonica. So if you can prove the dystrophia and if you can prove the myotonia or myotonica, so that we can make a diagnosis of the myotonic dystrophy. So what I'm saying, DM or MD means the myotonic or dystrophy. If you can prove it's the myotonic and having some of the dystrophic features, so the diagnosis is done, the myotonic dystrophy. So what I'm saying, my dear, this is very much important. Myotonic dystrophy, as I said, that the rules of D is that we need to remember. So starting with the first D stands on the dominant disorder, means autosomal dominant. And this autosomal dominant disorder, the myotonic dystrophy, we call the DMPK gene on DM type 1, 1 for 19 chromosome number. So what I'm saying once again, D for dominant, D for DMPK, DM type 1, 1 for chromosome number 19. And also this myotonic dystrophy, the TRATS, TRATS, having the D is the last, so once again, the D for TRATS. TRATS means the trinuclear repeat expansion disorder. So what I'm saying, the TRATS, T-R-E-D, small s, so we can write the TRATS. So once again, trinucleotide repeat expansion disorders. So you'll have the chance to look for what, the, what does it really the TRATS mean. Just you need to know, once again, D for dominant, D for DMPK, D for DM type 1, chromosome number 19 and D4 threads and the nucleotide repetitions it happens in these regions that is the CTG that you need to remember my dear. So what I said in a single line the D is this is a genetics only. So you need to know the genetics of this disease. So once again I'm saying D stands on the dominant or the dominant D stands on DMP eh? Dystrophia myotonica protein kinase or phosphokinase gene on chromosome number DM type 1, chromosome number 19, 1 for 19, and once again the TRAS and CTG. This single line that you need to remember, my dear. 
Martin Gistrom having the two times time one and time two. So we are talking about the time one and one for DM one, one for nineteen. You can remember. Next to the second to the D is that we learned the genetics. Second D is tension, my dear. This is very much important. D for distal muscles. So DM itself, dystrophia martin, you got DM, here's the distal muscle. Distal muscle will have the weakness. When I say the distal muscle will have the weakness, but without wasting. So this is one of the important part, my dear. So yes, so D for distal muscle weakness without having wasting, because this is not a neurological disorder, not the lower muscle neuron disease. So it's a muscle dystrophy. So that's why this called the distal muscle only. Because of some of the weakness, some of the DTR, I mean the deep tendon reflexes, will have some of the depressed. So you can remember and the DDDs, as I say, the second D is tense on the distal muscle weakness without wasting. And having once again the DTR, some of the depressed because of the muscle weakness, not due to the nerves disease, my dear. And definitely the sensory involvement will be absent. Third D is tense on, very important. This is the third, fourth, and fifth D that I am talking about. These three D bundle packs. The most important talk of some of the important complications of dystrophy martoniga. So I am saying that D four, third D for DM. So DM for DM. Yes, DM for diabetes mellitus. Four D, and once again the DM for DCM, dilated cardiomyopathy. And fifth D once again stands on the DSM, DISM, all right, we can remember, there's a hypogonadism, yes, the testicular trophy. So I say the three DM, DM, and DM, so DM for diabetes mellitus, DM for DCM, and DM for DSM, means the DISM means the hypogonadism. So these three Ds that you need to remember, important complications that you need to know, learn very, very well. So my ideas once again, Starts with the first five five Ds that I talked about, along with the myotonica that you need to prove at the best side chronically, you can prove the myotonica. So we can start the myotonica evidences starting from the once again the sometimes we are making the test and just ask our patients, can, can could you please shut or close your eyes tight, tightly shut down and then open them? So opening the eyes is really difficult, it's just something like that the eye lists are sticky to each other, stick to each other. So this is also one of the important evidences. So once again, the delayed relaxation, or we can say uh, difficulty in relaxation. Having contraction, having good, so this is myotonic, and relaxation is difficult. So another important evidence that we can show through the tongue examinations, so sometimes you're asking that could you please stick out of your tongue so stick out tongue is really good enough but taking tongue back so sometimes difficulty with these patients another important right the handshake we can do the handshake we can do the handshake and also this is the examination that we are doing this is the grip myotonia so the grip myotonia we are sometimes say that can you squeeze my hands, both hands together, and now open them, so it leads to, once again, the delayed relaxation. So grip myotonia, and sometimes the handshake is really difficult. Sometimes the handshake is, once again, the getting difficult. You see the handshake? So handshake is getting difficulties. So yes, can you hold my hands and don't open them? So yes, opening them, and also, absent or having problems with the relaxation. So this is very typical for the myotonica evidences. So myotonic evidences having some of the dystrophic features so dystrophic myotonia diagnosis done. And having one of the important features that I'm talking now the face. As I said the having some of the sleepy face and having some of the you see that the frontotemporal bending from the top to down so say with me once again the frontotemporal bending and the bilateral torsis and then bilateral cataracts and getting down 
the long haggard phase the diagnosis is done the dystrophic phase and sometimes saying that yes once again the myotonic phases so yes this is a myotonic phases so my dear putting all them together as i said you enter into the room and see the myotonic phases some of the sleepy face diagnosis is done the myotonic dystrophy or myotonic gravis now we handshake and relax them and if it is difficult to so diagnose once again the myotonic dystrophy done diagnosis is a spot diagnosis and after that you have to show and play all them together all the features of myotonic dystrophy starting from the all the five d's that you need to remember at least and there are lots of other d's are also but you don't need to learn them at this moment just you need to know the five important d's my dear the first d stands on the dominant disorder means autosomal dominant dm type 1 dm pk on chromosome number 19 and the tress is a cdg second d stands on the yes yeah, the distal muscle third dm dm and dm it does mean the dm diabetes mellitus dm for dcm dilated cardiomyopathy and once again dm means the dism means the hypogonadism testicular atrophy so these three important dm dm and dm that you need to remember along with the features of the dominant as well as the distal muscle once again the dm i hope that my dear you enjoyed the dystrophia myotonica very important case for your exam i hope that you enjoyed thank you thank you very much